Let's start with the audio wall and the move copy cart dialog has been changed, as well as showing you the waveform preview of the cart you are moving. You can quickly either go to the next free cart, type in a specific cart number, or click to jump to the next available cart within your personal cart range, which you can set under tools, customize Myriad. The Myriad Intelligent Interface has been able to be controlled by the P-squared SRM mixer for a while now, but it has now been upgraded to be able to be used with the new VRM, the Virtual Radio Mixer, from P-squared. A widely requested feature has been added, which is customizable colors for the cart players. You can now go crazy with your colors, green, blue, pink, red, you choose. Whatever makes sense for you and your users. You can still select the colors which match the colors used on the fader tops of the P-squared SRM mixer. Version 4.0.22 also contains an almost entirely rewritten SEG editor. The setting in Station Database Settings, which determined which car players to use for SEG editing, has been replaced by a new setting in Audio Settings, which determines which sound card output to use directly, instead of using a range of car players. You should use the sound card in SMX mode, otherwise the fades won't work. Other features in SEG editor are improved graphics if the cart does not have a waveform preview you now see a simplified waveform rather than the older coloured blocks. The ability by right-clicking on the audio in the SEG to play from that particular point. Not new, but worth pointing out, is the ability to zoom in and out by left-clicking on the edge of the yellow box and dragging. Plus, you can also move around that whole zoomed-in area by clicking in the box and dragging. You still have the same volume and trim abilities, enabling you to fine-tune the SEG even further. And there's auto-scaling, so if you're doing a mega-long link, you can still see the intro of the next song visible on screen. Finally, as part of the voice tracking within Myriad Playout, it now looks for the next empty cart after the last one within the voice link's range, rather than always looking for the first available one in the range. What does that mean? Well, it significantly speeds up finding a suitable cart in a heavily used system, and also massively reduces the chances of two users trying to record into the same cart at the same time. Never good. There are also several other fixes which are detailed on the updates file available by clicking on the link here or from the P squared website at www.psquared.net. Thanks for watching.